I don't really think I'm mentally prepared for this. The last couple of gumball videos I've done have left me reeling. It has been a horrifying adventure that I didn't know I needed, but also don't think I wanted. But as I've said before, I guess I just loved the pain because here we are again. Either that or I just know that you love torturing me and you know, I just wanna make you happy. Also, before we start, I thought I'd let you know, I have finally started uploading over on my gaming channel. I did a video playing Five Nights at Freddy's for the first time, which was also quite an experience. If you'd like to watch that, the link will be in the description below. We can get through this. I'm gonna hit play. We need to find this awesome store before we all start going anime here. <laughs> but where is it? There must be a clue. Oh thing. my God. I'm here for it. I wanna see Gumball as an anime now. Why is this a thing that's been deprived from my life so far? We don't have enough XP's to fight the boss. Then we'll do the thing that makes up most RPG. Grind. Grind. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> I was legit like, surely they're not just gonna obliterate the baby. We're finally strong enough to take on the awesome store. Let's go! What is the implication there? I mean, in Pokemon, for example, you aren't killing the creatures, they're just fainting and then going to a poker center, but in a lot of RPGs, you are killing the enemies. <laughs> Did they just mass murder? <laughs> well, it was locally sourced in its country of origin. Thanks, Larry. Hey, am I paying extra for this warm feeling inside? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I don't know if it was quite their intention, but I do like that there was at least a little bit of criticism about the whole problem of charities acting capitalist and taking advantage of both consumers and people that they buy and source products from. Obviously there are a bunch of great charities, but some are quite predatory and they're very, very secretive about it. I like hair. Uh, here, have some. <laughs> Hated that. <laughs> so the shark Rubik's Cube creature thing with a giant bicep likes to eat hair and Gumball's sister was like, oh, that's fine. He volunteers. <laughs> I mean, that would haunt me too. Oh, what a terrible... oh there's going to be another one. <laughs> I quite literally have zero idea what that was about, why it happened, and I couldn't even fathom a single guess for you. I can hear you watching cat videos. Th that's the sound of Omar Plus Messenger! No, it's not. Hashtag job for life. Then hashtag make, hashtag sure, hashtag you, hashtag stay alive to hashtag- Why all the hashtags? That's not how hashtags work. Literally. <laughs> Yo, she went full alien. That was terrifying, however, I guess effective. If I don't flick this switch, nobody will be able to see the play. Dude, you uh -huh. know when people say I could do that job with my little finger? In your case, it's actually true. But I only have one finger. And yet in the last Gumball video, he was holding a gun with some fingers. Mm-mm. Lion. This. Ah. Huh. Oh. More teeth. We need more teeth. <laughs> You want to make friends with a straight jacket? Yo, that was, uh, that made me viscerally uncomfortable. And I don't quite know why. It was just an intense, unpleasant smile. Yay. I love your hair. What's your secret? No patent hair loss with the sprinkle of stress. <laughs> I was literally going to say, it didn't occur to me at any point that Darwin was bald. I haven't thought of that. I've seen it. I've been watching this whole time. And I never went, oh yeah, got no hair. But also he's a fish. So wouldn't he have like scales? I'm an Isis brother. Really? Me too. She's so weird looking, right? Yeah, she's like a garden gnome who got her head transplanted from an Easter Island statue. <laughs> wow, that's really mean. I mean, I get that they're young and they're her siblings, but do they rip on her like that often? What's wrong with her? Okay. Really? Unnerving. <laughs> that wasn't a year ago, right? What happened to me? Well, oh. the world thought you were, uh, you know, how can I say this? It's because you're boring. I'm not boring. I do loads of cool stuff. I collect pencils. I got <laughs> red ones. No, that's so sad. Dude, everything here is a bad idea. Do I have to spell it out for you? Hey, are you writing an email? Yeah. What is that? No, we gotta get out of here. <laughs> My God. I don't know why they got rid of these. They're pretty cool. I was gonna, I knew I was gonna say it's gonna explode. 
That was surreal. Even in context, I think that would be very, very surreal. Am I to understand, however, that they somehow abandoned that other character in an alternate dimension where time passes differently and no one else can see them? The world decided to imprison them away in this hellish limbo? That's dark! You can't come because you lost the invite that was burnt into your retinas? Yes? We'll just have another one. <laughs> Oh my god. Did that literally melt their eyes? Look, I know that Gumball and Darwin's logic isn't always the best, but if you don't want to go to a party, is going to the person who presumably invited them and saying, oh, we can't come because we lost the invite. How, how would you think that's going to work? It'd be like if I was having a party at my place and one of my friends was like, oh, sorry, bro, I can't make it. I forgot what time it was. I would just say, oh, it, it's at 6 p.m. See you then. <laughs> we should totally hang out soon. I'll <laughs> you don't have my number. The awkward dip. Oh, do you? And this, this is just some hollow promise. Dude, it's not that. We've just been distracted because uh, <laughs> the funniest thing happened. See that hole? How awful are they? I mean, depending on the circumstances, it's totally understandable to forget someone. But hey, you know what you shouldn't do? Kick them to their potential death down a manhole. I would even go so far as to say that that is a bad idea. Maybe you run into someone in the street. Maybe it's a bit awkward. You don't recognize them. They recognize you. They're keen to see you again. And you don't want to chat. You want to leave. You know what you shouldn't do? Kick him down a manhole. We are hoping to guy out of a manhole and we- No need to lie. It's obvious you guys don't want to watch the movie with me. Oh, that's so sad. I can't wait to watch. Some princess trying to tame a stupid pony just to impress some foppish prince from Luxembourg. Bruh. Look, I know I haven't watched the series, but can I just say, be nice to your sister? Is that, is that too much to ask? You don't have to be mean. It's fine. But. We still don't know what he's allergic to. Have a nice day! <laughs> I feel like you're trying to tell us something. Trying to kick you out. <laughs> hey, Darwin, you know what you gotta do? Chill out, pump the damn brakes, relax. Because in quite a few of these clips, you've been beating some people up. It's not great. It's not a good pattern to get into. Maybe stop kicking people so hard that they fall backwards into shelves. What? Well, I don't know. The magazine this came with went bankrupt after two editions. I'll just, uh, do this. How does that feel? Good. I think I'm not okay. I was literally sitting here like, how is that guy that's working on the tree gonna factor into this clip? Unfortunately, I didn't have get shot by two diamond bullets from a nose on my bingo card, so I lost on that one. The ancient art of acupuncture. Really? Yeah, I bought it on the internet. It came with a scuba diving license and a dog <laughs> breeding permit. Literally, I will never mess with acupuncture. And it's not even because of the practice or the whole alternative therapy of it all. It is genuinely because of Final Destination. Mm -mm -mm. This looks like it would score at least, uh... Somebody please finish me off every second of my tragic existence. Uh, oh, acupuncture is completely painless. The foam at the oh, mouth. There's no pain. Or anything from the neck down. Yeah, I couldn't remember the exact energy points I needed to strike, so... Better safe than sorry. Oh my hey, at least god. You haven't sneezed for a whole... <laughs> Gumball just deflating. I don't know why that was so funny to me. I mean, this no context video has just been a real mixed bag. I've been uncomfortable. I've found things funny. We haven't quite had the intense dark jokes yet. <laughs> Expecting showers in the morning and in the afternoon. What the? Oh, that's. <sighs> I'm so confused. <laughs> Can you not just break? Kids, how was your first day back? <laughs> I honestly feel like that's one of those clips that'd be better with context. I just want to know what led up to that point because that was wild. And be careful with the paint job. We cost more than you make it a year. <laughs> oh, um. <laughs> the pure horror on the milk carton's face. He knows what's happening. Uh, Is it gonna? Let me fix it. No, don't pull it out. Oh. oh. Uh, Did he just? Did he just kill someone? There you go. <laughs> Not even gonna like call an ambulance, he just ditches. What are you talking about? I sell pizzas. Why would I buy one? Well, someone's gotta pay for this. I'm not paying for something. Why is he talking to himself? What am I supposed to do with this now? Give it to me, I'll show ya! Yeah. I think all these jobs are messing with my head. I was gonna say, is he having like an identity crisis? Cause that was uh, that didn't seem healthy. <laughs> <laughs> I 
That's so dumb. Are the kids locked in a shipping container for some reason? I I don't even, maybe it's time. Maybe I've just got to stop asking questions and accept whatever this show throws at me. Are you kidding oh, me? At her job? You be in there. You handed me the briefcase yourself. Yes, but from the inside. What? Oh boy. Your briefcase. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> Defying the laws of physics. Why did they want to sneak into her work? Nothing. <laughs> the tiny levitation sound also made that even better. It's for good people to do nothing. Oh my god. I don't think we count as good people. Then all it takes for good things to happen. Darwin's self-aware. Oh uh, no. What? I'm totally convinced. <laughs> <laughs> the weird faces. They're getting me, man. Find out how they put these magic colors in the sky. With unicorns and pixies, candy cane. Wait, do they manufacture the sky? Hello, friend. Now tell me, are you out or are you no? Neither kid. The lack of daylight stunted every bone. Oh, God, they look so depressed. It's gasoline and arsenic and latex lead and rust. Hey! What about the, uh, you know, the big thing? The big green thing? The woods? No, no, the other one. Bigger, the wet one. The rainforest? The rainforest! Oh. Yeah, the rainforest. What about the rainforest? Well, isn't it that there's too much of it? Or not enough? <laughs> Which one? Too much? Unironically, that is such an apt portrayal of the discourse around environmental issues. It seems like a lot of people aren't quite sure what's going on, but still pretend like they do. What a, uh... What a fascinating video. Even though it's weird, sometimes uncomfortable, and a little bit horrifying, The Amazing World of Gumball is nothing if not consistent. And you've got to give them credit for that. Especially when it's so strange, so surreal, and so random. And look, if I'm honest, exploring these no context compilations, or the dark adult joke compilations, is making me want to watch the show more. But also, I do want to put it off for a little bit because seeing all of this out of context is especially amusing. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please don't forget to click that like button. And as always, have an awesome time until I see you next. See ya.